ladies and gentlemen, drum roll. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. The local time here is 12.59. One o'clock, twelve fifty-nine. So let's call it one o'clock p.m. We're located here at the Craft uh, in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and uh, the world premiere of the very first. I don't think anybody has ever thought about this. No, 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 no. By the way, I must say. This seal works really good, except that it, after a while, it floats like this. It actually will will rise like that, and it's no longer sealed. So once in a while, I suppose, if I remember, I should uh, I should vent the air. Maybe if I poke a hole right here. So that there's a, an air vent to relieve the pressure that would probably be better somewhere in here is a fork or not Looks done. Looks very interesting. It smells great. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is kind of nuts. This is kind of scary. Here he goes. I get the long tantalums, right? So here we go. Very lemony. Full of garlic. Black pepper could taste that. Tabasco definitely. The taste is interesting, but very, very chewy. My food is chewy. <laughs> hey, chewy! <laughs> but it's good, I tell you. You gotta try it. I know some of you are not a fan of uh, octopus, but why not? You mean to say if there was absolutely nothing else to eat in the world, you wouldn't eat octopus? I don't believe you. I really don't believe you. But the lemon really does help. <laughs> I mean, it's nowhere near as good as the salmon that I cook in here, but it's good. I like it. And that, my friends, is what an octopus cheese omelet looks like. Peace. 
Hey everybody, Johnny Be Good here. Hello and good afternoon. Greetings. All right, the local time here is 2:20, and uh, we just got signaled by the yard jockey that we are loaded. There we go. Let's give it a good amount of tug there. That should do it. <laughs> there you go, all locked up. I almost said, all locked up, nobody home. <laughs> muscle memory right now how many of you out there know what I'm referring to all locked up nobody home down right see if I would have cranked dolly all the way down to the ground like a lot of people do I would have cranked this thing going oh, oh. why why do that why I never understood why people do that let the truck lift the trailer. Enough the space to swing the door open, but I put my load lock in there. Does it look like there's enough? <laughs> Pickles? I have no idea. Kosher dog pickles. Well, it looks like this is going to be a heavy load.
I hope I got enough air in there. We'll see. We'll find out soon enough. And we do. And we do, we do, we do. Does the load scale say up in the truck? We're at forty seven. We're at 47, so we're good. All right, uh, I gotta go get the bills. Be right back. Peace. All right, we got our bills, so let's get out of here. To the yard, 192 miles away. So we're, we're headed for the yard and uh, we're going to meet up a uh, certain individual over there in regards to Long Haul Larry's secret mission. I don't think that... Uh, Let's see, I'm not, I can't say his name out without his authorization. So let's just call him BP, BP, <laughs> British Petroleum. I don't think BP would like to be on camera though, so we might have we might not have that opportunity.
Okay, the next video after this will be me uh, getting getting loaded. No, nope, getting empty and getting loaded. Delib uh, deadheading from Grand Prairie to Fort Worth, Texas. Now, as you notice, there are one, two, three, four, five different cameras running simultaneously. And somebody mentioned today, well, keep it simple. Keep it short, like Eric. As far as I know, Eric does about an hour or so videos. But as far as keeping it simple, yeah, I could do that. But the reason I'm doing all these multiple view cameras, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm doing it for myself. <laughs> kind of a, uh, an artiste challenge. And who do you call an artist? <laughs> yeah, just, you know, it's just a challenge thing. Just something to challenge myself, see if I can do it. And again, what I said earlier in the previous video is me trying all this. I hope that you guys can benefit, uh, you know, from it. So, yeah. Somebody, uh... Somebody sent me some pictures from Las Vegas. It had to be at least 20 pictures. And the whole town is just ab abandoned. I mean, I saw one guy cleaning up the stairs. There was one guy and maybe one car. But it looked so, so empty. And as, you know, as he said, it's never happened before. And, you know, before all this happened, our economy was at the best. The uh, stock markets were breaking world records lowest unemployment I mean we were just we were just skyrocketing as far as the economy goes right uh, confidence of the people were very high I mean you know why not right but I think this is, I think this is God's way of putting a little bit of a perspective like, hey, uh, don't look down or look up. No, don't give thanks up there or not down here. I mean, can you just imagine? No, no amount of army in the world have done or could have done than what the micro, mus, microscopic little tiny buggers. They're tiny, they're invisible, but they brought this country down to its knees. just a reminder of how feeble we are, how, how finite we really are, you know? Back in the 1300 or 1400, I think it is, 14th century, the Black Death claimed 50 million people. 
50 million. So in contrast, this thing is nowhere near, nowhere near what the Black Plague was. Plague. I could never say that properly. All right, cover your ears, cover your ears. I'm about to say something really racist according to today's vernacular, today's standard. I'm not supposed to say this. You know what's the next thing that claimed a lot of population? The Spanish flu. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm so racist, man. I know, I know. Bay and Bay. So, yeah, you know, I, I really think that in a way, I'm, I'm not glad that this happened. But I hope we can all learn a lesson from this. I really, really hope. Maybe this is God's way of preparing us for, for something bigger. Put a little bit of a humility in us. That way we can get back to whatever is needed to do for something bigger. And, and I don't think it's too far-fetched to think that someday there's something bigger coming, right? I don't think this is the last of it. But I hope we can be well better prepared next time. So, yep. Bay and Bay, you're driving so slow. It's almost like a Sunday drive, Ben Bay. Good grief, it's 2.47 p.m. That means it's 1.47 Wisconsin time. I better go home before I get into a bad doo-doo. Oh, see what I mean, see what I mean? Later, peace. Hey everybody, John of you here. Good evening, greetings from Mount Crawford, Virginia. All right, the last video you saw was me going to the yard. I already went to the yard, did a drop and hook. And uh, met up with uh, Mr. BP and his wife. Oh, I tell you, uh, what a blessing. What a blessing to meet those guys. They actually turned out to be uh, authentic brothers of Christ they were my brothers and sisters in Christ and they were just they were just an absolute blessing to me they uh, I've been struggling for certain issues lately and having them Having meet up with them, I was an absolute blessing. So, um, that's done. I did a drop and hook. Now I have trailer R70. And we have been assigned to door 234. are quite active tonight.
What's LLC stand for? License like crazy? Right? License like crazy. License looking crazy? <laughs> Who knows? Weirder things has happened. Two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, two, two, three, four, right there in the middle. They're actually not all that busy tonight. So. I came very, very short. I must have turned too, way too early. Let's see if we can't fix that. Got it, George. But I can't see where that concrete, uh, concrete barricade is. Yeah, you don't have to look at that to know that the pins are retrieving, right? Just listen to it.
open. Hey, good night everybody. Thanks. Thank you for watching. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. By the way, uh, this is for dinner. Sweet and sour chicken with uh, carrots and broccoli. I think there's some pineapple and white rice, so bon appetit.